freedom means a lot of things. We're talking about freedom for you to make your own choices, freedom to retire in dignity, freedom to have health care. And I'll say this, freedom to send your children to school without worrying they'll be shot dead in that classroom. That's freedom. That's freedom. And I'm going to take no crap off these guys. I know guns. I'm a veteran. I'm a hunter. Kamala Harris is a gun owner, as we found out. We're not going to let them make this about the Second Amendment because we defend the Second Amendment. But our first responsibility is the safety and security of our children. That's our first responsibility. All right. You've seen it. Don't listen to the polling or whatever, but it's pretty clear on this that the message is sinking in with the women, fellas. So I'm going to make a message to the guys here for just a minute. I'm going to make a, guy, I'm going to make a message to the guys here. You got any women you love in your life, your wives, your daughters, your mothers, and friends, let's not forget, their lives are literally at stake in this election. Let's be very clear. Donald Trump appointed those three Supreme Court justices who did exactly what he told them to do, repeal Roe versus Wade. He brags about it. He's glad my daughter Hope now has fewer rights than her mother had. That's what he's bragging about. More than 20 states, 20 states have the Trump abortion ban, which he calls a beautiful thing. A beautiful thing. Now, you're all thinking this. What that beautiful thing means is all across this country in those states, there are women that are being denied care in the ER, having miscarriages in parking lots, survivors of rape and incest being asked to carry those pregnancies to term. That could be the women across the country, and you saw it uh, with Amber Thurman down in uh, Georgia, had to travel to North Carolina because of that trip, she lost her life. If she would be living in a state or living in a country that had Roe versus Wade protection, she very well would be alive today. The idea, that, the idea that women's rights are dependent on geography is just abhorrent to all of us. That's why we need to elect Kamala Harris and reinstall Roe versus Wade. And here's, an, here's another one for the guys. Here's another one for the guys, because we care deeply about the family. They're not done. Project 2025 is going to restrict access to fertility treatments. They're going to be ripping those away. I know there's those of you out there. If you've not been through the, the actual anguish of infertility, I guarantee you know somebody who has. My wife and I went through this for years. We had access to insurance, and we had access to fertility treatments. So I have to tell you this. I'll be damned if I would deny anybody else a chance to have the family that they want. And you go back. You all go back to this. Can you imagine, can you imagine the party of Ronald Reagan, the idea that Donald Trump and J.D. Vance should be able to tell you whether you have children or not? That is absolutely abhorrent. And I think when you talk to this, this issue about personal freedoms, while it puts women's lives at risk, every man in here, you have a vested interest to make sure that Donald Trump gets nowhere near the White House.